Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here. I know it's on my favorite day, Sunday, right? Yep. November the 17th, 2024. On a Sunday. Sunday. That's what's up. I'm sure you've probably been wondering where I've been. I guess you've wondered where I've been. <laughs> I thought I'd come on through and, uh, you know, put some sounds in your ear. Okay, I thought I saw something on the... Yeah, I thought I saw something flying around. Yeah, this this place, you know, it, it um, attracts a lot of uh, insects and whatnot. Okay, it looks clean and clear. But if I if I see it, trust me, I'll, I'll take care of it. But I um, I've been really really busy, as a matter of fact. And you know, guess what? I've been really really busy doing, resting. I am putting in a lot of time to rest before the changing of the guards. And so I suggest everyone else do the same. And the changing of the guards, you're going to recognize once you you know, kind of relax a little bit and suspend your ego, sus you know, suspend stuff in your life, you're going to realize that this is nothing but the changing of the guards. It's just like going into work, clocking in and, and leaving, clocking out. That's the same concept as what changing of the guards uh, that we expect in January. Now, um, you know, I'm a little concerned about so many things and I made that clear on all these videos that I have out there. Why? And the, and it, and it brings you to a culmination of why uh, there's some concerns. Um, my um, passion, mission, whatever everyone wants to call it, is to help. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to help. I'm going to guide as best I can, and then I'm going to leave you alone. Okay? Because this is the evolution of the consciousness is about you. Okay, but at the same time, you have free will to make the decision as to whether you want to participate or not. That's your choice, and that's the beauty of it all. The evolution of the consciousness is about all of us. It is not about our materialism at all. It has nothing to do with our materialism, as a matter of fact. It's all spiritual, of course, and spiritual has lost its meaning, unfortunately, because it's now more religious and esoteric and magical. The evolution of your consciousness, there's nothing magical about it. There's nothing, there's no witchcraft involved. There's nothing esoteric. There's nothing religious. It is a natural form of being, B-E-I-N-G, okay? It's a natural form of being and being what? A human being in the true sense. So, a lot is going on outside of us that we cannot control. It's too late, okay, I, and I keep saying that. We've, we've allowed the damage to be done. However, there are some of you, though, who has who underst understood that a while ago and realized that it's not about polit politics. It's not about uh, division. It's not about us, uh, us and them or them and they. It's about I, we, and us. That's what it's about. And it doesn't mean that people that were participating, say, in politics or participating in this or that or the other did not know that there is more to this than meets the eye. Um, the thing is, is that, you know, business does business does have to go on. OK, so if you work in politics, you need to keep, do what? Keep it moving. If you work in a, uh, a corporation, what do you need to do? You need to keep it moving. So it doesn't necessarily need, mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to disturb your life and quit your job and, and go, go live in the mountains and all that. That's, that's extremism. Okay. And that's religious based. And that is not what it means to evolve your consciousness. Evolving your consciousness is knowing where you are right now being grounded in where you are right now and figuring out, okay, how do I unravel myself out of my uh, unproven beliefs, my unproven faith in this and my uh, indoctrination and this and that. It's, it's an internal work. And I'm telling you, you're going to, you know, once you get yourself invested in that, you're going to wake up one morning and realize, 
oh boy, the magnificence of it all. And you know, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you, you know, you're gonna be have so much joy and enthusiasm, and it's gonna resonate with other people, and they're gonna say, okay, what, what just, what came over you? <laughs> and you'll be able to properly share because some people just will not get it, and that's fine, you know. All you can say, all I wouldn't say very much to people about what you're doing. Just let your let just do the walking, do the walking. Let it let it just let it just uh, you know uh, resonate with people. Let it fall off of you. Let it let it stick to people. Whatever whatever you want to call all of this. What's most important is the most important thing you have to do. And I hate to use that word, but you have to regain your sacredness of who you are. You need to regain that, okay, and protect that. Protect your privacy, okay? Protect the ground you stand on or the ground you sit on. And most importantly, protect your consciousness, okay? We have been battered for thousands of years about the left and the right the good and the bad, the man and the woman. Uh, and and it, it, it has caused some severe consciousness damage to a lot of people. Whereas they cannot, for the sake of anything, think for themselves at all. They think they are, but they cannot make decisions. And what's, what's uh, illustrating that is the, the use of artificial intelligence. Some people cannot, and I, and I say this a lot, cannot think out of their ass because they have become so, so uh, accustomed to relying on something outside of them. Okay, whether it's a savior, whether it's a prophet, whether it's who, they, whom, whatever. So a lot of people are lost. They're going to be spinning in an abyss forever and ever and ever. What does that mean? They're going to be reliving the same experiences over and over and over and over again throughout the course of, you know, throughout the course of however long it, it, it can last. And so at the same time, um, there's a lot of us uh, that are, you know, we're doing the right things. We do, you know, we're, we're, we're righteous. You know, we are operating off of uh, uh, facts. We're operating off of reason, rational thinking, being logical. Okay, but we recognize, we're recognizing a lot of us that it's about energy as, as how you are resonating your sounds and tones with people. So that's, so we all going to have to work on ourselves. Nobody's perfect. And, and I put a post out, if you're looking for perfection, you'll never, ever find it. It doesn't exist. It never existed. So again, be kind and gentle with yourself if you have certain characteristics about yourself. That you know, you know that <laughs> that you're condescending with people. You know that you're being rude with people. You know that you're being short with people. You know that you are playing games with people. You know you're operating off of criminal energy. It's okay. You know, just acknowledge that. Vow to yourself that you're gonna you're gonna rid yourself of these. I don't know fallacies, whatever whatever they are, and just. Be gentle and kind. It's so easy to do. You, you'll be surprised how easy it is to get yourself out of criminal energy. But it's hard. It is hard. It is harder to be uh, evolving your consciousness. That is not easy. But you can easily devolve it. Okay? So, I'm working on a lot of things. And like I said, more importantly is rest. I'm resting you know, I'm kind of, you know, revisiting certain things in my life about what I'm doing, you know, what my progress is. And, and, you know, I like my progress, you know, I'm going, I know that I'm going to be able to help people. I'm going to be able to guide people. And that, that, that brings me a whole lot of joy and satisfaction. I also know that, you know, there are troubling times ahead. And if anybody's being uh, closed minded about that, okay. You know, the population is out of control, okay? Our materialism is out of control. You know, we've caused some cosmic, unfortunately, unavoidable cosmic events to happen with our weather. 
because of interference. And so, you know, and that's mother nature. You know, before it used to be when you, you, that we were destroying everything. You know, when I say we, I say human beings. We were either destroying the animals, we were either destroying. <clears throat> now, it's going to reverse, okay? Supposedly, from what I'm being taught and what I'm understanding, okay, Mother Nature is going to resolve some of our issues that we failed to do with our climate and it's going to and it's going to do mother nature and when i say mother nature it's the it's the uh creational energy okay so whether you accept that or not that's fine it's energy all we all know it's energy whether you call it god lord jesus allah is energy okay creational energy it's all energy okay so mother nature is going to make things right we've had numerous opportunities to do so and i told you we've destroyed parts of this planet you know wiping everything out you know and this is going on the sixth time okay this is the sixth time so get your rest you know um make sure you are where you want to be you know, whether that's literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, and know that it's a continuous, ongoing journey. Once you climb it, one mountain, you know, you, I mean, it's a it's an ongoing climb, but it has the proper de destination for you, based on your consciousness, and you want to evolve your consciousness on a horizontal, vertical lift, not just go straight to the top in a hierarchical, you know, pyramid, which is also cults. C U L T S. Be mindful of, of that. Be mindful of anyone saying that they are the only ones that know something. That that's those should be red signs. I mean, uh, uh, red flags for you. So, everything I've t I've talked about over the course of uh, since 2022 is I mean I got them all in my videos. I got plenty of videos out there. Some of you may like them and some of you don't. Swipe. Okay, but the information is there. I put them in breadcrumbs. And sometimes you have to do that because you're allowing people to, to come to your level. Or not say come to your level. That, that's, that's not the right word. But just to, to bring themselves out of the sand. Take their heads out of the sand and see, okay, what is really going on around me? You know, and, and, and have more joy and enthusiasm about it because you ought to. Because when you realize who you are, what you are, why you are, and you realize no one can touch that, okay, the fear goes, okay, the panic goes, the paranoia goes, and uh, I'm going to say this as well, you're not going to need no tarot cards ever again, you're not going to need to read someone's palms, you're not going to need voodoo or any type of witchcraft or magical events, okay, all of that's going to fall by the wayside once you realize who you are, what you are, and why you so let me go ahead and start my day. My voice is changing because of the weather. You know, we, ha we have cooler temperatures, which I enjoy. So I'm going to send peace and love all over stars and moon and mountains. You know, the changing of the guards are ahead. You know, be ready for anything. Have your paperwork in order. And be realistic and grounded. And stay tuned. And trust me, I'll be back.